the Department of Health and Human Services has a huge challenge in the implementation of the Recovery Act, which has a major national investment for the first time in the history of our country in health information technology. So coming to a fully digital hospital, figuring out the strategies that make that work and how that drives quality care is an important part of the puzzle. Um, the nurses on the floor use a C5 tablet, tablet computer, so it's okay. very portable, very lightweight. They take it with them in and out of the patient's room. Okay. They chart real time at the bedside, so all of our assessments are on here that we chart. Yeah, yeah we actually Pixis. take our tablet computer to our Pixis machine, pull up the list of medications for that patient, go in there, pull mm -hmm. all the medications for that hour, and then take it to the bedside, scan all the medications, scan the patient, make sure everything's correct before we administer them to the patient. All of our ER processes are built around a laptop or a, uh, a stable okay. computer that is um, in the room. Okay. So we have um, industrial engineers uh -huh. that go in and work with him mm -hmm. on, you know, testing. Well, how would we workflow with the tablet? Okay. We've gone from an old world of where's the chart, who has the chart, what's on the chart, is there an order on the chart, does right. anybody know there's an order on the chart, to a system where we can immediately see everything that's going on. Okay. And this is a tracking board, like you see out in the, we have two large ones, but any of the nurses or physicians can go so up to So these are any. separate patients? Separate, separate patients, yeah. separate okay. patients. Uh -huh. Tells us where they're located, right. uh, the, in, the um, complaint, the physician taking care of the patient, the nurse, the primary doctor that the physician oh, has. So who's, who's populating this chart? How does that? Everybody, that's what's wonderful about okay. it. Physicians are populating it, nurses are populating it. We hire now with the expectation that this is how yeah. we do business. It helps to give some real live examples of how health technology can help drive quality, lower cost, uh, ideas about the way that appropriate protocol uh, can be developed uh, within a hospital group but then really implemented so that all Americans can have access to higher quality, lower cost care. That's really what health reform is about and seeing some real live examples uh, right here in Omaha, Nebraska, uh, I think is a great way to bring this strategy back while Congress is implementing um, legislative strategy and say these exist, it's not hypothetical, it's very real, and, and use some of the lessons learned here in Omaha to help inform the uh, drafters of the specific legislation in Washington.